So I don't know where the video decided to go ahead and stop at, but currently right now, um, we got the fuel pack on here. It's not lit up, even when I put engage it. So I want to find out what's going on with that. Also, my neutral indicator is not lighting up on here. On uh, anything for me to be able to see, so I got to figure out what's going on with that. Aside from that, uh, dealership said it was flashing some codes, but I pretty much got a good idea what's going on in regards to that. I just have to get inside here and do a little bit more in depth. Which I will cover that inside a video. Just like to know how the hell they're supposed to expect you to get the ground out. Ah, well, we'll figure that one out. I saw it on a video in which uh, they did an installation of something like this on a fuel pack for the Sportster, which. I go looking up, there's no model number on this particular one at all, so I can't really find it. So unless it's on uh, one of these uh, wires itself, I'm not exactly too sure what's going on in order to be able to use this. But according to this, uh, you're supposed to tuck the one somewhere around inside here, in which would possibly be the reason why it was firing up codes. But you got to remove the battery to be able to do that. And right now I'm currently working. Uh, eventually what I plan on doing with this is going with a matte black on here. Doing some uh, res restoration, uh, not restoration, but um, doing some changes on this bike. Concerning that I can do that now. The V-Star had very limited. And the Sportster, uh, according to the dealer, uh, the guy over in the parts department there. I wish I could remember his name, but I'll probably go ahead and post it up inside there anyways. Uh, he said that the aftermarket on these particular bikes is unbelievable. I'm like, alright, cool, I'm going to go with that. But, for right now, that's where currently where the project is. For all this. Uh, the exhaust wrap on here end up uh, finding out that uh, the bars I don't know what they did on this but the exhaust should be coming in a little bit more maybe about an inch but I'll get that changed out it looks like the previous owner had done some replacements on this just to get the bike to work so that way you could trade it in um, according to the service department over at Grand Rapids Harley-Davidson. The air filter needs to be cleaned up and re-oiled and I will agree with that. It does need that. It also needs an oil change on here which is going to be interesting since I never changed the oil on a Harley-Davidson so we'll go ahead and see exactly how fun that is. <laughs> but I plan on doing a whole video segment on this. Um, releasing it out. So I figure I'd give you an update. You see what this is in, but it won't be that inside the other videos, in which I'll do step by step. But I figure I'd just give you an update, exactly what's going on, what projects are involved, and we'll just go from there. Until then, uh, this is Wild Rider, and I'll see you on the next ride.